Welcome back Free Discovery viewers. Today we're talking about learning experience and discussing difference between MHT and HTML files. Mm -hmm. Now, we actually had an interesting project, John, right? That's from what I understand, Nick. I mean, over the weekend, it seems as though we had processed some data for a client yep. and the subset of that data we had to actually load into some other instance of relativity. Am I that, correct? That's right. That's right. The client had their own version of relativity, so we had to process data, let them review, but certain data had to go to their uh, relativity. And this was an over the weekend uh, project, and we're you know we're open twenty four seven, so this is nothing new to us. But um, what happened is project manager called me up Friday night while mm -hmm. I was doing my own personal stuff, and they went like, "Hey, can we um, do MHT export for?" emails and to which I said sure we can. Now Nick if I can ask you what is MHTML compared to MSG EML? Okay good question so MHT is an HTML page it's like a static representation of an email that's been sort of frozen in time almost like a TIFF image. Now MSG and the EML files are live emails if you open them you can click on the reply button and you can reply to the original person wow. or you can forward them. But the disadvantage, the biggest disadvantage of MSG and EML is that the attachment is stored there as well. So the attachments stored twice, so making MSG and EMLs way bigger than MHT files. So it's a size consideration. Yeah, so um, job's moving along, so you know, and basically you know, I wanted to know what was happening. So that's why I decided to hold this little video with Nick today to get like right. better insight as to what was going down. So. I was checking up on it over the weekend because, well, that's what I do on my weekends. Uh, and I was sort of poking around relativity and I started noticing that some emails uh, coming out as EML, which was unexpected to me because we had this MHT option that relativity has been talking about for a while. They were saying, hey, you guys can save space. You can use this file format. And I noticed there were EMLs. So that was kind of a surprising to me. Nothing worse than surprises in the discovery realm, folks. No, Tell you no, right one, now. no one likes surprises. So after investigating, calling, doing some research, turn out to be not all data sources support mm. MHT conversion. Wow. So MHT is supported file format, but only if your original data is in PST format. So Outlook mailbox. The data we were processing came from Google. Okay. So it was a Google Mbox exports. Uh, I believe they were exported using Google Takeout, which is an easy way to get data from Gmail. Did this present a problem to the client? It did, it did not. So it did pre present a problem for me because that is something I said we're going to do. And if I promise something, I want to make sure I can deliver on that promise. And here it turned out to be, it was a technical issue that prevented us from accomplishing what we originally promised to a client. So. Uh, we had a conversation with the client and said, okay, why do you want this file format? Is there a specific reason? And it turned out to be, well, it was a less of a space consideration. It was more something that they're used to seeing from a different software that they were using. So it Understood. turned out to be not a very big deal for them. They were just used to MHT file format and they said, can you do it? Um, and the fact that we gave them EMLs mm -hmm. turned out to be not really a problem. So, I mean, when it's all said and done, I ran into this little hiccup, but Seems like at the end of the day, client was happy with what we were able to do, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think client was happy. We were able to communicate with them well. As soon as we find out, we told them right away. Mm -hmm. uh, but this was kind of a learning experience for us. And I, I guess for me, I should have looked at the data before just confirming on the phone saying like, yeah, we can do it, no problem. That's really the takeaway, you know? Sometimes you have these technical challenges that you may not be able to foresee as well. Mm -hmm. You know, who knew that PST would be supported to MHT and Mbox would not? Something we didn't know and we learned from it. You know, I gotta say my takeaway though is like, even though we were surprised, we were still able to get the job done. And you know why? Because we are V-Discovery. Have a nice That's day. That's right. Folks. Thank you guys for watching. John, thank you for coming to the oh, studio. It's always awesome to have any, you here. Anytime, always a pleasure. Yes. Like, you know, All right, this. you guys know what to do. If you got any questions, put them in the comment section below. We would love to answer them for you. Make sure to follow the Discovery on social media networks listed on your screen. And for previous videos, check us out on YouTube.